Hi, I'm Brad Baker, Senior Product Manager for Sulfur Group. I'm here at the uh, Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois. And behind me is the Salford Valmar 9620 pneumatic boom applicator. Uh, in this part of the United States, uh, most people would recognize this type of technology on a, on a floater truck. Um, people are used to seeing them run around the fields in the spring and fall, uh, dropping granular fertilizer. Uh, the Valmar division of Salford has been building the, this technology for years. Um, it's one of the uh, pioneers of this technology. Uh, what we've done is we've Taken, uh, taken this technology and scaled it up for, for high capacity, um, for large scale operations, uh, commercial applicators, egg retailers. Um, it's designed to get maximum, maximum efficiency in the field, reduce the amount of downtime where you're refilling. Um, allows you to empty almost a full trailer of, of fertilizer into the tank and, and lets you apply in the field and lets that trailer move on to, to refill and, and uh, not have to wait around. So the unit behind me is a 20-ton unit. Previously, uh, the, the largest uh, model that Valmar made was an 11-ton unit. Um, so that's uh, about 660 uh, cubic feet of hopper capacity when you translate it. Uh, the boom size is 70 feet. Uh, so it's uh, matching the, uh, the current uh, largest size you can get on, on floater trucks. Uh, the big advantage um, when, you, when you take the capacity into account is, is the fact that, that this unit is, is a fraction of the price of a floater truck. Um, it leaves you with a lot of flexibility. You do need a tractor available to, to tow the, the uh, unit, but uh, at least you, uh, you can move that tractor on to other tasks after you're done with it and uh, not have to dedicate a, an engine and a transmission to, uh, to one tool. The unit behind me is a single product hopper with the uh, 60 cubic foot micro hopper that's integrated. Uh, there is a flip flop gate between the uh, the two hoppers that allows you to use a full capacity, the full 660 cubic feet for for one product. Uh, the secondary metering system for the micro bin is an option. It uh, it can be installed at the factory, or it can be installed later. It's a very uh, simple system to uh, to put into place. Uh, the hydraulics on the unit are are driven directly from the tractor, um, so this is not a self-contained system. Uh, you'll need about 42 gallon a minute uh, at about 2800 psi to operate this unit which most modern tractors are fully capable of doing. Uh, the bed chains are split into two sections so you have a, a left hand and a right hand bed chain. Uh, we have an isobus uh, controller that allows you to control that bed chain uh, to switch them on and off manually through the controller or if you're using a prescription map you can uh, you can use that prescription map to automate that process. So if you have any overlap, it'll it'll shut down automatically and, and uh, reduce the amount of overlap. Uh, and that that adds up very quickly too. With a 70 foot swath, if you uh, if you have overlap, that that amounts to a pretty big savings from fertilizer as well. So the uh, the boom system is fully hydraulic. Uh, you can manually manipulate the the height of the left or right boom. You can do that individually. So if you're going over undulating terrain, it's pretty easy from the cab to uh, to make those adjustments on the fly. Um, the, uh, the suspension is fully hydraulic. I've had this thing uh, cruising behind the tractor at 20 mile an hour and those booms just float right along. It's a, it's a very uh, very good suspension system in this. The uh, boom fold is fully hydraulic um, and uh, it's also a 304 stainless boom system which is uh, uh, what is required for, uh, for the corrosive uh, fertilizer environment as well. The undercarriage is uh, rated for, for 20 tons to match the hopper. Um, you can see that there's four 865R32 tires on here for flotation. Once you get all that weight uh, behind you, you're going to need that, uh, that amount of tire to, uh, to avoid compaction issues. It is a walking beam uh, undercarriage, so it allows you to crawl through those dips and, and uh, valleys and undulating terrain without, uh, without uh, having too many issues uh, with uh, weight transfer to the tractor hitch. Uh, the uh, tarp on there is an electric tarp as well. Um, Fully, uh, fully set up to match uh, the uh, air boom uh, systems on the floaters as well. Um, designed for, for maximum operator convenience. Uh, we're trying to keep the uh, operator out of the cab as much as possible and in the field. Uh, we've seen in terms of efficiency in field testing, uh, we've, we've seen this thing accomplish 120 acres an hour. Um, it all depends on the product and, and the type of terrain that you're going over, but uh, very, very high efficiency in terms of the amount of acres you can cover with this thing. This really does pay back in a hurry when, uh, when you take that into account.